start making videos um, about individual computer systems or retro game consoles that I have, uh, I figured I'd give you a tour of this place, which is my home office. Uh, you know, uh, my wife said it's my man cave, but it's far from manly. Um, <laughs> there may be a sign that says man cave, but it really isn't. All right, let's show you around. Now here is the sign that I was talking about. When you first come down here, uh, this is a basement uh, office, by the way. You see this, and uh, yeah, it's not really a man cave. Uh, the reason why I say that is because <laughs> one of the first things you see is um, peanut characters across my ceiling. So after you see my man cave sign, we come over here and we see I have computers um, wrapped around the room and then some video game consoles over here. This, this area is always changing. Uh, it's pretty much my work area. Um, we have a Commodore 64. As you can see, I got the, the monitor. Uh, two drives, you know, 1541 drives. Then I got the IBM PS1, which came out in 1990. I have three variations of this model. Uh, we'll go into that one day. This TV, believe it or not, uh, actually served a purpose. Um, at a factory I worked at, we were like 10 years ago, we were trying to uh, watch the Super Bowl at work. Um, for the most part, it worked. Over here, you can see we got the Atari 400 with the um, tape drive. We got the Atari 800 XL with the tape drive and a color printer, which I have yet to use. Uh, this drive and the Atari tablet, which you can, uh, it actually responds well with that size. Over here, you can see we got the Atari 800, which I gotta say is one of my favorites simply because it's, it's a solid computer. It had um, the old typewriter style keys and um it's, it's just screams the vintage i got the numeric keypad this drive over here the epson ps8 which i spoke about in my first video And I got this brand new, literally brand new in an unopened box. And then my favorite, um, the Atom computer. Over here is just my modern computer where I do all my work on. And when you swing okay. over here, we got the Intellivision 1 with the Intellivoice, PlayStation 3. Uh, yeah, I got that free because somebody was throwing that out simply because it stopped working and they wanted to destroy the hard drive so I begged them to let me have this they can have a hard drive I give them the hard drive just let me have it the rest of it and yeah I, uh, I got it to work anywho my 360 the uh, completely in flashback. Got to have a master system, Dreamcast, which I also got free from Paul Therott. He's a tech writer. Uh, if you go to therott.com, you, uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. But yeah, he was uh, he offered me a few things. 
uh, I should say a lot of things. Um, <laughs> one of them is a complete lab computer, which I couldn't say no to. And he threw this in. Uh, Paul, if you're watching, thank you. PS2, NES, and another item I got from Paul is the Intellivision 2 with um, a couple of components on the keyboard. Okay, we shoot up. You see, I got a Nintendo Power Pad, more Archie stuff. Oh, and on this side of this wall, we got the PlayStation uh, 2, um, you know, pad, the dance pad. Uh, up by my ceiling, I got some screen wraps of various uh, games. Of course, out of all the games up here, I I'm going to say this one is my favorite. Which is um, Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. So, back to this side of the room. Up there is like a evolution of the cell phone. If you've never seen this before, this is what cell. It's basically a glorified 8-track player. It was for educational purposes. Verbot, Robin Jr. And you see we have various shelves of software, games, and books. I am big on uh, the computer books. Can't get enough of those. And as I was saying earlier, I will eventually make videos on individual systems like the Atom, uh, the ColecoVision, um, Commodore 64. Etc. So that's it. That is the tour of my home office. I hope um, I didn't bore you and you stick around for the next video. Alright, take care.